What's up guys? This is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Spain. So to pick up where we left off, uh, we finally got Morocco under our control. We had to give the French Florida because the British were coming after us and they've decided that's kind of broken their programming. So they've decided not to move and our little army here is stuck. Because I don't want to attack the Brits because they outnumber us significantly. So, because they're not attacking us, I'm okay with not attacking them. But the big news is this force under Francisco Castillo Fajardo is, gonna, is marching up to Porto, ready to board a ship and sail for Dublin, while at the same time we research fire by rank. So we are slowly expanding our navy, we're growing our port capacity as well. Bilbao is going to be built in two turns, which will provide another port for Spain. So our financial situation is becoming slowly uh, more stable. The important thing is we keep France on our side. Because like, they're keeping the ship lane, shipping lanes free of the Barbary States. They're anchoring us to the north. I mean, it will mean that we will end up fighting in a European war against someone like Prussia or Austria sooner or later but what i'm hoping to do is to invade britain and knock them out of the game so that i can have the riches of the british isles because london is crazy valuable and use that as a bit of a staging post for limited operations in northern europe but at the same time i am also at war with the ottomans so the so europe itself uh, the med is still going to be quite the priority So let's upgrade Porto's Porto. Hey. Naples, so we know how valuable Naples can be. So I'm going to build a light galley to occupy Syracuse. Uh, I think I have to focus on Spain, surely. Because Spain, I know I'm. if I lose Spain, I'm dead. So I may as well focus my efforts here. Let's recruit a sloop. Although that might be the only thing I can actually upgrade is in... Nope, I should upgrade down here because we have Marrakesh. We have Marrakesh. Uh, where is it? There we go. Casablanca. And I think that's the, those are the only two towns, two other towns we get in this region. Which isn't bad. So you have an average yield, you have a meag yield, so upgrade this one first. Let's get these grenadiers over to this, this army. Who can we lose? Well, not lose, but no. This militia unit, probably. Let's get them down to occupy Sandy Bay. Because that garrison will be needed when we, loot, when we, when we move our ships around. Some more upgrades for our territories. 12 turns to Lyria. Lyria is built, which is up here. So there it is. So that will probably be another university. Because then I'll have three good universities. One more turn till you get improved animal husbandry, which is pretty good. Corn factor. Good. Let's hit end turn. I mean, they're offering money for peace, which is always a good sign. Especially when they weren't offering it before, because it suggests that things aren't necessarily going to plan. But if I take Dublin, like I said, it's a good Catholic country. Then we should be able to make good progress into the British Isles. We always have to be wary of the Ottomans, because... You know, they are at war with us. We could see a full stack, um, both naval and land, come towards us. I don't like that, because it suggests that they might be marching, moving on, or wanting to keep a greater eye on what's going on in Naples. So 
So I might start slowly building up a garrison there as well. Pirates are going to pirate. It's got improved animal husbandry. So instead, go on to Flintlock Cannon to try and not have us fall, fall too far behind on the naval tech. Let's upgrade the religious building to try and really drive down religious unrest. Also start to spawn religious happiness. I mean, they've got another 19 resistance to foreign occupation to drop yet. Build Bow has been built. Good stuff. So you're marching up to here, you're going to here, you're sitting here, this militia unit go up to build bow, let's upgrade, do we have any towns, Mallorca, that's over here isn't it, yeah. In terms of towns to build, I don't think Spain has any, has any more after that. as far as I can see. No, I definitely want to save you for the Royal Observatory. Okay. Oh yeah, let's check. We're both on cobbled roads in this region, I think. What about Morocco? Morocco, get cobbled roads. Keep that expansion going. Manufactory owner in Sevilla. So you're going to be better at researching military techs than you would normally be, I would imagine. Let's send one ship to Dublin to scout what lies ahead. A full stack, Irish volunteers. Okay, let's not go too far. We can't. We can land in Waterford and take Dublin pretty quick. We can raid Glasgow to try and occupy control over this pass to prevent them from immediately being able to attack us. Okay, I might give it one more turn and then advance. Because then we'll be two turns away from getting fire by rank. We'll have been able to take the... Uh, the British, we will, we, will have, we will have been able to have landed in Dublin and secure the first territory without needing fire by rank, just due, due to our superior army composition. Nope. And uh, they'll leave us in a good position to then get a fire by rank and push on to Edinburgh, then down towards London. They might need some local reinforcements, but then we'll have the British Isles, which is a great territory to support our French allies if they get into trouble with Prussia. We could land, take Berlin, knock everything down, then retreat again, which is not something I normally do. Cherokee have been repulsed from Savannah. Barbary State's going to Barbary State. So you can certainly see how important it is to have the have Spain at war with the Barbary States to prevent all these little annoying ships from breaking out into the Atlantic. Tainted farms in Morocco. So you're going up to the port. 3900 is not... Oh, it is enough for the observatory. Good stuff. So, Navy. This sloop out. You men. Embark. Sail to Waterford first. I'm not going to directly attack because I realise I, I need to... I want to do... Actually, no. I was going to recruit some troops to be a bit of a garrison here but I may as well keep the money for the resulting um, reinforcements I'm going to need. So the navy disembark your troops 
Over there. You men, march on Dublin. Let us engage the British on their home territory. And I will send my sloop up to Glasgow in order to... Uh, oh, I've still got Chrome open from the last episode. Um, in order to try and control the pass or the, the crossing for an amount of time, I'd like to build a church school in Ed in Dublin, in Ireland. Don't really need it to convert the population, but it's to try and generate a priest to then send over to the mainland. Because there's a chance that it might take me a couple of turns before I cross over. Okay. Fantastic position for artillery up here. Commanding the high ground. So much so. My army is going to pass around Dublin to the right. Let's have a look at these grenadiers actually. We haven't seen them. Yeah, they're pretty good. Pretty standard grenadiers. So my grenadiers on my light is going to take position on the right. Same with all of my cavalry. And my pike's going to follow my main line. It's going to take some time. Oh, and obviously my general. Oh, oh. My pikes might actually stay on the left. I don't know. Do my pikes and my and my elite infantry push through the town? It's possible. Okay, my infantry needs to run, even though it's a long way. Because they're on the way. Split my gun teams into two. And get these two to target pikemen. These two to target someone a bit closer in the centre. Target that garrison unit of militia. So my pikemen will have a great time securing the town. There's a lot of troops. So my ca cavalry that was on the on the right is now going to shift to the left. Come on, men. Come on, Irish Brigade. How fitting. You're fighting to liberate your land. Okay, you might have to be careful on this flank. Gonna end up needing to send guys into melee combat. Pretty ricky tick. So these three units are gonna push up to the bluff. These gunners focus on the yeomanry. So you got Irish volunteers versus Irish brigade. So they are pushing a good number of troops through the town, so these guys out on the flank are very much surplus to requirements. But what it does mean is that we can do something like this. There we go, we can begin engaging the enemy. Hitting the pikemen first, which is correct. Because they're the ones we want to destroy first. Clansmen, they got some Scots getting involved. They got hit by some cannon misfires. Come on, you men, get into position. The pikemen are coming in. Keep firing. Load and fire as quickly as you can. They've come here to kill you. Keep your territory under 
British rule. Present fire. Plans him in a gun. Okay, you might start to engage some of these units pushing around the flank. You guys more directly provide gunnery support. They're not charging, but you could target them if you wanted. Okay, let's bring these guys down off of this little ridge. I, w I do want to swing them around to hit the 43rd Regiment, but I do need to nullify... these guys up front first. There we go. So let's keep the line moving. You guys pivot like so. Actually, you guys pivot like like this. Not a great use of firepower, but whereas over here, you guys are making slow progress, and because my troops are hidden. Well, you're not hidden, but my light infantry is. They're waiting. As are my pikes. Clansmen are in. The Regimento de Sevilla fight. Oh, cannonball shot. Really upset my troops there. Are they routed? Very, all right, then. Let's focus these gunners on 43rd Regiment there. You guys focus on the men coming in for reinforcements. You men fall back. These two units fall back at the safety at the top of the hill. Let's allow my infantry pushing through the centre to do the work. Now might be the time to deploy my pikemen. My grenadiers will also get involved. So my gunners, you hit that regiment. You guys, so you guys hit that regiment. You guys hit sixth. These guys hit the forty-fourth. You guys hit the forty-third. You guys try again. go that militia unit is routed so now the focus is going to hit the 36 there we go so now my pikemen should do a real number on these volunteer infantry and then they can begin the uh, street fighting side of the battle once these men have fallen the town will be rapidly ours and we can push through and take take the fight directly to the enemy so 
So you guys are fighting against or gunning down these Brits in the street. They are charging. So the gunners on the hill, you two both focus on the militia on the flank. You two both focus on General's bodyguard. Come on, knock out. Okay, let's get... Okay, good. The pikes are done. Well, they've been routed. Deploy my weaker units of cavalry to help them out. Get my regiment of horse over here to help them. Can you guys line up like this? This will be one on the flank. So now these units that were looking a bit peaky can actually... Well, the flank's going to collapse, fundamentally. Grenadiers into the volunteers. Halt my infantry there. Okay, those some of those men have come back. The volunteers have collapsed. So push on into the 45th. Those guys came back, so you better bayonet charge them. Because they don't they don't have bayonets, but we do. Okay, wrong. Combat there, fellows. Focus against the 14th. Gunners up on the hill. Bombard the centre of their line. These pikes hit the garrison militia there. Get the skirmishers to push through the town. So you're going to hit... That militia, my grenadiers, did a real number on the garrison line. I mean, tra using cavalry here is a bit dodgy. Soon we're going to start running out of ammo. Oh no, we're not, we've got plenty. And there goes provincial militia versus pikemen. That should be a pikeman win. Light infantry avoid that combat. These guys are fine. Get the provincial cavalry into the town. There we go, they've collapsed. Let's get my pikemen and my grenadiers to carry on the push. So fight the there you go, fight the infantry but don't chase them down. Free up your militia to drive through. Actually you guys might smash into the 14th. My light infantry doesn't really have a role. You guys charge onto the 14th, you guys pivot to more directly focus on the last remaining infantry unit. Bombard the 41st. You guys are going to be cleaning up the 14th. Yeah, my light infantry doesn't really have a role, let's be honest. go so now let's just run down Actually, yeah, chase down the ninth they're wavering maybe they're out but they might steady themselves yeah, there they go so charge into the seventh they're not long for this world Ooh, artillery fire causing some friendly fire amongst the fourth regiment there we go. Oh, obviously. The general's still alive. So 
so they speed up time because the regiment of horse is going to take out the general one way or another. There we go. So we will need the uh, that amount of money I saved. Probably more than that. But there we go. Henri de Mosse. Mouse? Mosse? Mosse? Could rebuild the city, but no, we need to replenish our troops. So they don't have... Galway doesn't exist yet. But it will do soon. So I was going to raid... Ooh! Wait, hold on. Oh! Are the French already in there? Oh, the Barbary States are in there. Sweet! Occupy Waterford. So now Dublin has been brought into the fold. Dublin's quite ends up being quite a reasonable, reasonably valuable region. Like it's already more valuable than uh, Morocco. But that's good. Are oh, the Maratha Confederacy's dead? That's not so good. So France. Allies with Spain, Westphalia, Cherokee, and Württemberg. Which is good. So their only front that they can be attacked on is Hanover for now. Okay, let's hit end turn. So the new Spaniards are raiding Jamaica. But at least we've taken Ireland. That's quite a, a significant blow to British strength. Russia is, Russia is also picking on Britain. So we need to repair Waterford and we need to repair Galway. Not Galway, Dublin. So it's quite a value, quite a wealthy region to own. Unfortunately, we're being left alone in plenty of ways by other nations. That ship's going to disappear. Yeah. Oh no, maybe it didn't. But yes, the Spanish Empire, the train is rolling now. We're, we're off. Let's buy that winery, let's repair Waterford, let's build the governor's residence. We could knock down Cork. Eh, I don't know. I'd like. No, I won't. No, I can always build a religious building in. in Scotland. To be honest, can I push straight out of Ireland? I can, and they're pretty okay with it. So I'm going to... Um, I might stay in there for now, though, because we are still defending. Okay. Can't get better roads. Can upgrade the vineyards. We've got Toronto, which is going to be a military shipyard. Which will be, that will be quite important later on. Porto and Build Bar has been upgraded. So now, can we get more trade partners? Could try and trade with the Mughals. Good. What about now, Crimea? What about you, Louisiana? I'll offer you 120 cash. Nope. Savoy, probably not interested? No. Barbary States are probably not going to do it. No, I'm not giving you military access. No way, Jose. Okay. So how goes our tech? One more turn to a fire by rank. Beautiful. <laughs> Here come the British. Too late now. Dublin's ours. And they like us. So, so, so. I think I should start building more troops in Madrid. For protection of the, the homeland. Because right now we're pretty exposed. We've got all the ports 
occupied, so they can't do a sneak attack. But we could do with having some more um, defense. As well as more defense in, in the Americas, because we've got Cuba and, S and Santo Domingo. We could upgrade. Now we're trading with a good number of nations. We could make some serious bank. Hmm. It's an interesting possibility. But we need to keep things, keep the ball rolling, keep balancing our military spending along with our economy upgrades. 6,300 now, thanks to the trade. The Ottomans are raiding, but they might get cleared out by the Mughals. So we've got a fire by rank, and we've got flintlock cannons, so... Don't... Eh, naval shore facilities is probably a good idea to upgrade our ships. You go for socket bayonet. Or do you go for something like spinning mule, because our economy is pretty vulnerable you or do you go for okay now i'm pretty happy with those choices for now so morocco's got better roads and it's got a church building to help really help spur the conversion of their people so madrid good new units spanish regimental de infanteria in memorial de rey okay don't worry about elite troops just build a couple of regulars a couple of grunts I, mean, I don't need both of these as shipyards. Especially as I've also got one down here. Which, to be honest, I might also destroy. Okay, so let's upgrade... Well, first of all... Let's get cobbled roads. Upgrade the port. Actually, no, don't upgrade the port. Upgrade the government building because you guys can now march off up to here. So, in the sloop to have a look at Edinburgh. Edinburgh's got a full garrison, lots of melee infantry. That is not a city we want to attack. Roderick Brew. Okay, let's break. Let's raid Liverpool. Is Bristol... Is Bristol's been raided. Got a bunch of ships they've written, they've nicked from the Barbary States. Let's get you back to Waterford. Let's hop over to the Americas. Because we could probably do some good upgrades. To be honest, farms are a good shot in both of these because they've got a couple of towns that need to pop. Havana's got Hologuin, Holguin to grow. Santo Domingo's got Santiago de, de los Caballeros. They've also got San Juan. The French have, well, they've done pretty well in the Americas. So I could attack, but I'd like you to wait one more turn. So you know what, I'll hit end turn. Then we'll have money, and we can push over the uh, push across the crossing, sweep away that small army, and then lay siege to Edinburgh. And probably build another ship in um, Gibraltar. Good old New Spain. I should have given. Maybe I should have given Florida to New Spain. Didn't think about that. Oh well. Barbaries are going to Barbary. It's only a matter of time before they attack us again. And if they do, that's why I want that um, force in Morocco, because then they could march east and start to secure the coast. So much so. Obviously, I've got that rake. Ignacio. Hey, it's Nacho! Medical Soul is pretty awesome. Uh, okay, let's recruit. Okay, let's get some Walloon line to go down to Tangier. Because why not? Feeling a bit flush. 
let's upgrade both of these to trading ports. And let's go to Sandy Bay and pick up another fifth rate. It's a couple of turns before we can upgrade it. And you can recruit a light galley to go occupy Toronto. Oh. Sorry, my microphone tipped over. The join at the base is very weak. I just need a new one, to be honest. Um, okay, so you're a full... Well, I, I did say I was going to save money to attack. But let's march over. Stuart Grant, that might draw in the garrison. It hasn't, but those might be elements of the garrison that have marched out. But, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Um, hopefully, for the destruction of this force, and then the sieging of Edinburgh. Cheers, everyone. <laughs>